You can be the baddest bitch. What's up? What's up, collective? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. Staying peaceful, prosperous, and abundant. I hope all is well. Thank you guys for tuning in to Clinique's Tarot, where the celebrities tune in a T. Yes, yes, yes. This is all the gossip in the TBA that you will not find on the gossip in the T pages. I promise you. I promise you. Y'all come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Somebody watching this video, I pray for consistency upon your life. I pray that whatever you're going through, baby, you heal from it. I pray whatever's going wrong in your life, you wake up in the morning and it's all going right. After you eat lunch, it's all going right. When you prepare for dinner, it's all going right. I pray everything that's going wrong for you begins to go right. Because things have been left for a long time. Okay, let me get into this reading. Man, I don't know who this for. Oh, y'all can book a reading at ogbeckytarot.online. That's ogbeckytarot.online. The name may have changed, but the website may have not. I'm still OG Becky. Clinique is my name. Becky is my street name. And after further discussion, I can live my soft life. I don't have to show my strength card anymore. Y'all know what it is. If you know me, you know I'm OG. If you don't, <clears throat> please don't do anything to find out, okay? But baby, the feds, the marshals, is um, about to swan the rent on somebody. The SWAT team, they about to swan the rent on somebody. Yep. Seven of Cups. Somebody about to lose everything. I don't know what the hell this is. This could have been like sex trafficking, kidnapping. Like the year 72 could be significant. Yep, there's the sun right here out on the deck. It's the sun. Somebody can have a son. I just heard one of their victims had a son. Somebody's son was a witness. Man. I want to say this is kidnapping, sex trafficking. Like some sort of sex traffic ring. Yeah. Some sort of kidnapping, sex trafficking. Look, the devil, yeah. This ain't just women and children being sex trafficked and kidnapped. This is men as well. Men and little boys. They're sex trafficking and kidnapping anything they can. Now, I think this is why the Marshall SWAT team is involved. These individuals have no idea that the feds have been watching, though. I just heard the government, the government paid extra for this. Yeah, the higher priest, the magician, ace of cups. The government paid extra for this shit. Like, extra for um the finances needed to investigate this person. I just heard they had an inside man participating. An inside man got all the information that they needed. Is 
this this kind of like I need some help. Hold on. Yeah, like I said, look, and then right here on Louis that temptation opportunities has been or will be introduced that will lead to committing eight or several sins. And then we have Psalms 23. Ooh, pray first out on the deck. Ooh, things may be hard, but God got you in Jesus' name. No sex is sexy. Oh, wow. So this could be somebody that you never even sexually been acting with. No sex is sexy. This person wants you to trust him or her. Look, babe, this person is around to be in your business. They have no good intentions. But you be being honest with this individual. Yeah, and this person has mental health issues as well. Okay, so that's what it is. This is somebody, this, and, and also, ladies, so I'm gonna be honest, this could be like a motherfucking pimp or some shit. This could be a pimp, somebody that you rejected, somebody that you denied, but in some way, shape, or form, somebody lost out on a financial abundance. Somebody feels like. <clears throat> Somebody feels like their money was in rotation until they met you. And they feel like it's something that you did, okay? Not only something that you did, I just heard the one that got away. That. <laughs> hey, I do this. I do this shit. Don't play with it. Justice. Baby, I am telling you. And then we got Ten of Cups and Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's about to be justice served. The, the abundance look the hangman 12 Roman numeral 12 and justice law enforcement 12 that's 12 police is 12 two time you get what I'm saying look and then I just said two time Roman numeral 2 2 of cups right here wow somebody also gonna try to one and evade arrest possibly with a family with this 10 of cups too this person feel like they was doing all of this kidnapping, sex trafficking. This is some type of big ass uh, kidnapping, sex trafficking ring. I just heard nationwide. This person do it in different countries, <clears throat> different states, different cities. This person is known very locally for doing this shit. And again, pimping is still sex trafficking. You know what I'm saying? So this could be that. But I'm also getting holding people by by force, not by will. I'm not getting that this person is holding people by this could possibly start off by will until individuals no longer want involvement and then it turns into by force. Okay. I'm getting that um this person has killed a female before. This is a masculine. I can confirm that this is a masculine. This is definitely the masculine. Yep. Three of Pentacles. This person can have mommy issues, daddy issues. And that's why this person works hard. Also, you've been working hard too. To stay out of this person's way. This person could have also been stalking you as well. Okay, so you may be contacted in this in this process as maybe as a witness to testify. You may be called in to uh, be a witness for whatever this person attempted to do to you. Because this could have been a situation where this person didn't make no attempts their self. They could have sent somebody. Yeah, look, seven of swords. They could have sent somebody. They could have set you up. You know, did different things like that. Somebody could have tried to sex you up to get kidnapped or sex trafficked. I know I had that happen one time with one of my homegirls. I like, I really trusted her. We grew up together. Like we, you know, I had my, my first child very young. We was in a pep program together and stuff like that. The parenting program. We used to ride the bus with our kids. You know what I'm saying? Like the school bus. You know, needless to say, we actually had a bond with our kids and our family and stuff, right? Later on in life, when we got older and, um, you know, when me and my kids was going through things, I went to her house. This bitch tried to sell me into sex trafficking and kidnapping, I guess, with some, some nigga. She, 
Long story short, basically, she brought a hotel room and told me that I would get some tricks and to go into the hotel room. But something in spirit told me don't go into the room until I know a trick on the way and how much I'm about to get off of this trick, right? She started getting mad because I didn't want to go in the room. She went to go get a refund for the money for the room. And the nigga that she had brought with her, he had tapped me on the shoulder. He was in the back seat. He was like, you could peep game, huh, shorty? And I didn't say shit. I just played it cool. She even uh, gave him some type of weed. I don't know, but when we got in the car, she, I seen her give it to him. She tried to do it on the left side. He rolled up that weed and it smelled funny when he was rolling it. Now, he kept trying to give it to me to smoke it in the backwood. And I was like, nah, like, I don't give a fuck what you got going on. I could smell when we got the spray on it, when we fake, all that shit. The storm of the stars, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, I knew the purpose fake, but I still ate it because I'm a grim and stop playing. You feel me? But this could be a situation like that. Because I've heard that she being watched for being involved in with kidnapping. Because I know she did used to tell me things like she was sex trafficked and kidnapped when she was younger, like the age of 11 years old and shit like that. But bitch, don't put that on to motherfucking me because that's what you had going on, bitch. I had a very peaceful childhood, grow, raised in a Christian household, bitch. Don't put that on me, bitch. I'm sorry that you was out here on these streets. I'm sorry that if you was out here on these streets, no offense, y'all, but... She, she, it, it was different for y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all out there that grew up on the streets, y'all ain't out here trying to make other people fall into the streets in adulthood. You know what I'm saying? This hoe was literally out here trying to bamboozle me. Like, she was really trying to fuck me over, y'all. Bro, I didn't even know the dude, but something just didn't feel right. It was just like, I didn't feel nothing. And if I don't feel nothing, then that means it's something. Yo, she was trying to put me in bondage, so... This could be something like that. Try to get me tied up and motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Be hurt or some shit. Because I ain't about to do nothing a nigga saying. So they ain't going to have no option. But that beat me. Return me back to who the fuck they just sold me to. Because, like, I'm going to be a wasted profit. You get what I'm saying? So to avoid all of that, I just went home. I didn't have time for any of that. I just went home. Back to my kids. And I kid you not, that next morning, I got the biggest client of my life that I ever had. And still to this day, I have that client. Yep, King of Swords. And that could be what you did in this situation, too. You let Holy Spirit fight this battle. And also, I'm getting that y'all could have tried to report to this, report to the police, to the, this person to the police, what they did. But you didn't have actual proof. Like, you didn't have proof of what they tried to do to you or what they did to you. You didn't have actual proof. I'm also getting that somebody's ex been trying to get you and your children to come out, to go out with them so that they can, you know, sex traffic or kidnap you. I don't the name Curtis, Christus, Christian, Christy. Yeah, be careful. Be very, very careful. Because not only is this person, they're about to be arrested, right? They're going to know 10 times out of 10 that you had some involvement with it. Okay, this is, this is, they, even if it's spiritual knowledge, yeah. This person may also try to write you, contact you in some type of way. Or someone may try to contact you on behalf of this person. You should keep avoiding any contact with this person. I think it's best to have no contact with this person. I think it's best to have no contact with this person. Yeah. Walk away from this person in this situation. You don't want any involvement with this. This court case or whatever's going to be going on. Because I'm also getting that this person is going to try to communicate to you so that they can threaten you. Because this, for some strange reason, this person knows that you're going to be able to testify on it. They know that you have something to do with this case. They can feel you around it. They, can, they know you have some sort of involvement, whether it's you being a witness, whether you got the investigation open on them. They strongly believe you got it open on them. And for some of you out there, y'all check this shit to yourself, but another victim. Nah, but I'm telling you, you're the one that got away. You the one that got away. You the only one that's a, that can that they have survived their attempts. The things that this person has has tried to get done to you, others don't survive it. Others fall for the bait. 
Others fall for the okie dokie. You didn't fall for the okie doke. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you didn't fall for the okie doke. You stayed clear. I'm hearing that someone has even the empress. You've even tried to make peace with this individual. You've tried to make a lot of peace with this individual. You could have even invested in this person's business, this person's brand some type of way. So this individual is self-employed because they're using their business to cover this up. And that's, that's why I say this is some a very big case here. This is a very large tra sex trafficking kidnapping case i just heard grand larceny they will murder someone and grand loss of a building or something and people not even knowing that their bodies are in there because they're ash to ash and dust to dust now this is like some real diabolical shit that this person is involved in yeah to make their cup run it over yeah <clears throat> hit that like button make sure y'all like this video I was about to say, I just heard it's your time. Your voice will be heard right here. Five of staff next to Will of Fortune. Some maybe somebody could have stole some money from you. Or was getting some shit in your name or some shit. Like maybe one of your exes. Maybe one of your exes gave another person your identity to use. I don't know. Some stupid shit here. Yeah, justice. This person is about to go down November 3rd. If this don't happen right now, this is about to happen no later than November 3rd. They want to get this person right before Christmas. Yeah. November 14th. Queen of Staff. Damn. This person is going to swear up and down that you are the reason you are the cause of their financial lack, their financial loss. I just heard the whole committee all behind that itty bitty. So somebody feels like they're losing out on a lot all because of you. You were the one that got away. Again, you were never supposed to survive the things that they put you through. The entrapments, the, the bait tactics, the hitman tactics. You survived through all the baits. You survived through all of it. But you and you could have possibly not known that this person was into uh, sex trafficking and kidnapping. But you know that this person has some sort of vendetta against you, some sort of anger and animosity towards you. Has something against you to make you... Know that you should not be involved with this individual, okay? And a marshal... The feds have been monitoring phones lines. They've been listening for some time now. And these people, they speaking cold wording and shit. Like, it's real weird. They, they, they speaking like a different language. They've created their own language or some shit like that, okay? And inside this own language, they have pickup and drop-off points. The feds are aware of that as well. There's a specific DEA. I don't know why DEA is working on this, but this DEA has a very strong connection to this case. I don't know what type of weight your name holds in the Justice System Collective, but it was something that was previously done to you that law enforcement won't let anything happen to you. I don't know if you could be in some sort of federal protection, witness protection, state protection, um, tribal protection you can be in some sort of protection like that or you could have like physical protection like arm protection you know your own firearm type of protection you can have some sort of protection like that going on from this individual to make this person know that they can't get one up on you and that's what the argument is about I just heard you are wasted investing. Yeah, this person has wasted so much money, time, and effort to get you set up, to get you sold, 
stole. I don't know which word sold or stole. It's the same price as cooking on the stove. So somebody is very lyrical. This could be like a musical artist. Yeah, this may be motherfucking P. Diddy. Who knows? This but yeah, on some not even funny, on some real shit. This like some P. Diddy type shit that was going on. Except individuals were being sold, you see? Even children, pets. This person can sell anything, will sell anything, has sold anything. Okay? Women, men, this person has sold families, couples, kidnapped. Wrap them up and sold them couples, families. Yeah. This person will actually act like they're in a relationship with somebody. Like they like somebody. Male or female. This person has actually played bisexual or gay before. Just to get someone sex trafficking kidnapped. And this person makes a great amount of money too. This person has made up to $100,000 just off selling one person. Depending on who the person is their um their strength their capacity their spiritual capacity compatibility because i'm also getting that they be using blood and shit like that look i don't know for what maybe they sending it overseas to somebody to do rituals on it to keep these individuals entrapped with them like doing some type of entrapment spells to keep these individuals entrapped with them yeah and if they leave them they'll go through death mental spiritual and physical death like people will physically start getting sick physically feeling ill things physically just wouldn't be right okay that that will make this person actually cause a death upon themselves and this also protects this person from having to unalive people physically themselves and that if you've experienced any um body pains body aches any hell cancers illnesses diseases sicknesses this was sent to you via spiritual attack from this individual because you were the one that got away and how else were they supposed to keep you quiet how else was this individual was you know supposed to get away with this to? you're not supposed to be alive and you alive and you see you talking about what happened to you you could be a, a um a kidnap a sex a sex abuse advocate a, a mishandled child advocate you could be an advocate about rape and abuse you could be doing something in that category standing up for people that have been through rape and abuse neglect and shit like that you could also do charity work involved with some sort of charity you do great things for the community and this individual do not like it okay you are using what this person put you through to succeed and to grow and they're not liking it this individual is not comfortable with it they're not liking it and they feel that you are an issue they feel that you are a problem but nevertheless though the marshals are about to go get them because as you watch this video right now they're being watched by the SWAT team they just don't know when they're going to move in on them because this individual has not been alone by themselves this individual moves very fast and very swiftly okay this is not just an easy person to get because this person also be around children. This person also is holding people's children hostage, okay? This person is holding people's children hostage. So if law enforcement make one wrong move, they can jeopardize many of lives, many of people, several hours of investigations, okay? So they have to move very precisely when it comes to arresting this individual. They have to, law enforcement have to move very precisely when it comes to arresting this individual. With this death card here too, because if this person has a shootout with the police, because this is somebody that, that gives aggressive. This person gives aggressive. They give volatile. Like their energy is just like <clears throat> raw, raw. Like, you know, like it's very vicious. This person is very vicious. Like a chihuahua mixed with a pit bull. And I'm just I'm I'm getting a scenario like like this has to be like a, a somebody popular someone that's in a public eye because this this look the star 
the star. I can't make this up. The star right there. This person could have been doing this shit since they were 17 years old. And known about this since they were 17. Or they they watched their parent do this at the age of 17. Yeah. Be very careful too because I just heard something about gang bang. I don't know if somebody been introduced to threesomes or somebody about to ask you to do a threesome. Do not do it. This is bait to fall into the sex trafficking kidnapping thing. Because if you willing to uh if you willing to do a threesome, you willing enough to be profit for a sex traffic ring. I'm hey, I'm just being honest on how they look at it. If you willing to do a threesome for free or even for pay. You might as well go ahead and jump in this ring, this financial ring, with this snake that's running it, and make us some money. So be very careful with sharing your body parts with multiple people at one time. Because when you do stuff like that, you open up different doors, different portals, different things in life. Okay? You want to be very careful with that. Be very careful. Sex is a very powerful tool, and it is also a very powerful drug. Sex is not to be misused. Sex is made to rejuvenate the body through energy. Look, to make magic. To make a magic happen with the body. When you low on energy, your person reciprocates that energy by penetration, okay? That's the point of sex. It's not... So I never understood what's the point of using multiple people at one time. You get what I'm saying? So just be very mindful, very careful with that. Five of Cups, be very careful, very mindful of what you are doing and how you are exploring sexually because you don't know what type of doors you are opening up, okay? And who you opening up to. And who you opening your doors up to. If your person wants to bring an extra person to the bedroom, you go ahead and minimize yourself so that they can he, he, she can go find multiple other people here. That's red flags, major red flags. In this season in your life, if anybody asking you for threesomes or anything, be, be very mindful. Because right now, this person is, is very God. This person is very pitiful. This person is very sad. Like, the anger and the animosity that they have towards you is ridiculous. And then it's crazy because it's like... This person will not leave you alone. You gonna, you gonna hear about this person getting locked up, though. You're going to hear about this bus, the SWAT team bus. It's going to probably be on the news because, again, this is a, the star. This is somebody that's very known in the community, very popular, very on high demand, okay? This person is on high demand. This person's friends is going to leave them like other the stars. So if this is a celebrity, other celebrities gonna lead this person and not have nothing to do with it. They ain't gonna be involved with the situation. They won't accept calls or nothing like that. And this is somebody that was very open and giving to these individuals. Yup, look. This person is gonna get arrested. They may come home on like a bind or something like that, a bind. Or while awaiting trial. But while on bond is going to be the worst thing ever. So even when this person do get busted or the collective, you still need to be um careful when they get out. Because they, they ain't got the finances, but this person still got the way to make the way. You get what I'm saying? This person still got the, the friends and the family members that owe them one. You get what I'm saying? So be very careful and very mindful because this person, like I said is very well accepted in the community this person has a lot of friends and a lot of family members from the community in the community these people this person has a lot of people that, that looks up to them 
I just heard a God. This person thinks they're a God. The people surrounding them think that they're a God. This person also comes from a lower class community. Yeah. This person also comes from a low income community. This person has had a lot of hurdles in life. It's been real hard for this person. The struggles and the challenges that this individual faces is um, inevitable. I'm hearing a song uh, from Medea's. Medea play, A Motherless Child. I just heard that song. So this person's mother could have been delinquent in their life. Someone could have been raised by their grandparents or their dad, stepdad, stepmom. But this person has mommy issues, okay? And this is why this person is so okay and so well and so fine with sex trafficking and kidnapping people because they never had no emotional connection with a female. And again, I believe this person was exposed to this at a very young age, possibly by a family member. And I'm hearing, we don't make nobody do what they're not willing to do. So if you're willing to, say for instance, you're a dancer, if you're willing to lead a club and go to a man's house, then that's just simply your way of intro into sex trafficking, okay? Because you know you shouldn't be doing nothing like that. And I had to put that scenario out there because I am seeing that. So I don't know if someone watching this and you are a dancer and you are the star with it, but do not be leaving a club with nobody Whatever they want to do at their house, they could do that right there in their VIP. Tell them to do pay at that VIP fee, okay, baby girl? Don't let no nigga bamboozle you. They ain't got no extra money for you outside the club if they didn't have it for you inside the club. I always know that. Even for my bartenders, too. Waitresses, hostess, all of that, okay? Because this here, they real sneaky with it. I'm seeing inside of Walmart. A kid came up missing from Walmart. That's because this person, some some one of these kidnappers, then went up and talked to the child and told this child that they would provide to them something that this child was wanting. And they knew who this family, yeah. They watched this family, waited for them to go to Walmart, and then talked to their daughter. Like, say for instance, she wanted a Stanley Cup. And this, the, this kidnapper, this person that's about to get arrested, they knew this child wanted a Stanley Cup. Because they're close friends of the family, this person been acting like they're cool with you. They got people, they're sending people in. They got their middlemans in. Not their middlemans, the inside mans. This could be a middleman too. They got their inside mans listening in so they know exactly what this child wants, what this teenager wants and needs. And then they pulled the ultimate betrayal. They pulled a very harsh the hermit. They do anything they can. Yeah, the fool. 90. This person been doing this since the 90s, born in the 90s. Uh, this person's father, our mother started doing this in the 90s. Yep, the emperor. So, like I said, the father. Somebody's father started this. 24. The year's 94 could be significant. Somebody could go born in 1994. I think this is the person's age who is about to be um, arrested. The year's 94. If not something here happened in 1994 with this person, they were a teenager, or that could, that could have been when they were 17 in 1994, when they first experienced this shit happen. But this is something that, that is okay in their household. For some strange reason, I'm getting that this person's parents or parent is okay with this sex trafficking kidnapping situation because it runs in a family. Like this is some sort of family business. And it's very weird because this is a lot of people that know about this. A whole community of people can hear an individual screaming, but they won't say anything because they already all know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look. They already know somebody being outnumbered and being stole, kidnapped, sex trafficked. The year 75, somebody could be missing that was born in the year 75, a model or some shit. This model was going ghost. She hasn't gone ghost or betrayed her family. She's been sex trafficked and kidnapped by this, this the star that's doing all this kidnapping and sex trafficking. Baiting people in with their career. That's what they're doing. This the star is baiting people in with their career. Yeah, look. 
Look. Baiting people in with their career. Eight of coins. This person is working hard so that they can bait people in. Look what I got. Look what I'm doing. You can you can get in here and get like me. I want to put you on. Let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do that. Y'all got to be real careful out here who you're dealing with and who you're thinking your friends is. No new friends. Because this person could be sending in somebody, even a, even a female that you think is your friend. Be careful at these bars. Be careful at the hair salon because this person is a stalker too. This person has been definitely watching you. So this person is aware of all of your moves. All of the locations and destinations you are traveling to. Like even if it's in a car going to a restaurant or something, this person is aware of where you're going because this person is stalking you, following you. This person may have an air tag on your car, a micro mini cam in your house, specifically in a restroom and over your bed. So someone needs to check that your AC sits over your bed some sort of way and it's a camera in there because that was the easiest place to stuff it up that you most likely wouldn't look. Yep, nine of cups. Somebody get everything they want. Yeah, the sun. And at a rapid speed, someone gets everything they want at a rapid speed. Whenever they, they do this sex trafficking or kidnapping, whatever this is here. But the feds been watching for a long time now. They've been observing for a long time now. They got names, addresses, dates, cars. I just heard that it's a lock. It's a body size lock box in a vehicle where they trap bodies like females and, and travel them to different states okay so that they can't be heard screaming also is made so that they don't suffocate okay this box was specifically made to sex traffic and um to human traffic the body the human body okay this was this was a real smart way that they built this car and the feds are aware of it the marshals they are aware of this car i, I believe maybe it broke down their male function someone did a new driver didn't know how to work it and had to make a phone call to ask how to get inside of the um the lock box in the car so with investigate further investigation they, they discovered this body size life size box in the trunk of the car or the trunk of the truck okay suv or something but this is big enough to for at least up to a six foot woman okay if you over six like i, I don't know why i'm here and if you over six foot they're not about to play with you because you can't even fit inside of this body box that they use to travel people. Say for instance, they catch you in Iowa, they about to put you in the trunk and bring you to Washington. They're not gonna keep you in your same state because they don't want it for you to be easy to run away or get to safety, okay? This person is a mass, mass kidnapper. Like they've been doing this for a while. They've been doing this for a while. Marshals are aware, tip lines are aware. Uh, over the year, a lot of tips have been made about this individual, but they just couldn't piece it together. And I don't know, it's something involving you collective that made them put the icing on the cake, baby. <clears throat> something here made them put the icing on the cake. Something you did here, maybe it's something you said. Maybe you've been keeping track on this police report. You could have even possibly been praying a lot, asking for spiritual guidance, spiritual knowledge, spiritual help. And while they were investigating this person for whatever else, they ended up running upon you because this person was stalking you. So whether you reported it or not, this person stalking you put you on law enforcement's radar. This person was definitely stalking you in some way, shape, or form because they knew all your whereabouts. I don't know if they had um, they had people that they would pay to stalk you, sit out and watch you. Little dogs, they had little dogs watching you. When the little dog is young niggas that ain't got nothing to do, 18, 17, 19, 20, 21, ain't got shit to do, get paid a quick hundred, some weed, some pills to sit around and go do some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a little dog, which is ran by the big dogs. Look, with that, that five, so this could also be gang affiliated too. This could be a lot of gang members involved in this. A lot of people are aware of this, but nobody says shit. Again, because this person is a star. They have some sort of authority, some sort of higher power, okay? When it comes to this person, ain't nobody about to make that call. 
because nobody wants involvement because of the power that this person holds. But when it comes to you, this person's power is, is, is nothing. This person's power is garbage. This person's power is, valid, is, is voided, invalid. This person has no spiritual authority when it comes up to you, when it comes towards you. This person has no spiritual authority, collectors. But the, the feds, the marshals is sitting around waiting to make their big break. Now, I, I ain't here to tell you that this person going to be stuck up in there a long time because I am seeing blankly that this person is going to get a bond. This person is going to get a bond. They're not about to sit in there. They're going to get a bond. And when they get out, when they get out collective, I don't know if this already happened or if this is about to happen. But when this individual get out, nothing but trying to set you up left to right. So be very careful on who you let into your home, whose home you traveling to, whose business establishment you traveling to, appointments you going to. Don't be using small businesses for nothing. Use big businesses because you don't want it to be one of this. This Because they are a big time person. They got it to be one of you. I'm hearing that this person has a lot of disguised businesses. A lot of businesses that you don't know who's the owner or that they are the owner, okay? Yep. This person has a lot of shielded finances, a lot of shielded businesses, and you just don't want to be involved in that. You just want to stay clear of this individual, find a new path in life, a new way in life. Just know that when this happens, this was God's way of telling you that you can now move forward in life. 